welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. I'm Melissa, and in today's video, I have another Tuesday Dollar Tree haul to share with you. So what I've been doing on my channel is sharing this haul, and then every single item I show you, I use in my upcoming DIY projects posted at the end of the week. So make sure you're subscribed, that way you can see how I use all of my brand new items. And this week I'm going with a neutral beach theme. Last week I did some coastal DIYs and I had neutrals but a little bit of seafoam green in there. So I thought this week we would do just the neutral colors and I have a ton to share with you so let's go ahead and get started. So the first items I want to share with you are these wicker vine balls. You get three to a pack of these larger size. This is in like the off-white cream color, and then this is in the darker brown shade. And they do sell these in a smaller size. So this is the smaller size. You get four to a pack, and this is in the light tan color. But you can see how beautiful these colors already go together. And I have used these before in the past. Um, probably for the last four or five years, I put together a Christmas garland using these that I would use to decorate my Christmas tree. And I thought that I enjoyed these so much, I wanted to see them year round. So this is what I used to make what I'm about to share with you. So let me put these down and I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is my Christmas garland that I have used for the last four or five years. And um, I initially made this using those wicker balls that I just shared with you. And this was so easy to make. All I did was use a large sewing needle and some twine. And I just thread it through each of the loops on these balls. And I alternated the colors and the size. So you can kind of see I went from like darks to lights. Um, just kind of blending in the different sizes and um, back in the day Dollar Tree used to have these in packs of six and then the smaller packs were sizes of eight so at the time I had so many of these that I wanted to make the garland um, of course right now it would not be cost-effective since they have lowered the quantity that you get um, but you could probably buy in bulk maybe on Amazon or somewhere cheaper if you did want to make a full garland. But um, like I said, this used to be around my Christmas tree and I just loved it so much that I thought I wanted to make something where I could enjoy this all year round, not just around Christmas time. So one of the projects you will see me make, I will use these new ones that I got. Um, I did just kind of want to show you the packaging of uh, how they look and how many you get. Uh, but I will be combining it with this. So <laughs> I'm going to use this garland and you guys will see what I do with this coming up. And then to go along with the wicker balls, I actually got four of these hula hoops. These are the smaller size of the hula hoops. And I have actually used these before to make like a feather kind of hanging decor piece for my craft room. And I still have it hanging up here. But for that, I used 12 feather boas and I just kind of wrapped them around. And it just turned out so, so cute to be hanging from the ceiling as decor. So I kind of have the same idea in mind with these and the garland that I want to combine. And you guys we'll see what I do with that coming up. And then I grabbed six packs of these chopping mats. Now you get two to a pack and uh, these are really great for crafting if you wanted to use this as like a tabletop protector, if you're using an X-Acto knife or cutting anything. Um, for what I'm gonna be using this for, I think it's actually kind of pretty ironic. You guys will see what I'm talking about in my DIY video, but um, definitely perfect for what I have in mind. So I am excited to get to try these out and see if what I have in mind will work. So you guys will see that coming up as well. I also grabbed three of these unfinished wood DIY frames. These are in the cute little anchor shape. And you can put a picture in there. Um, it, it, there's no glass in the middle, but you can put a picture and it has the tabs. You can just kind of take the back off and remove. But I think these would actually be really cute for a tablescape if you were gonna use these as like a napkin ring holder. You can stick a napkin in there and use this as the actual holder. I think that would be so cute, especially if you wanted to even paint it in whatever color colors you like. Um, but I have an idea in mind for these, so I'm excited to try it, and you guys will see what I do with these coming up. 
So then I also grabbed this fishing net decor and this they carry every summer and it's not the best quality. The knots are kind of not that, the knots are not that great. <laughs> but I think this um, could actually be really cute for a uh, tablescape as well. If you had like a table runner and you just wanted to maybe spread this um, like just across the center and then build up a centerpiece around it, that could be really cute to add that little beachy touch. But um, I just grabbed one of these because I'm just going to use it just as like a little bit of decor, but also a great item if you just want to add some of that little beach touch to any of your decor. Uh, so you guys will see what I do with this coming up. I also grabbed two packs of these white tins. Now these are in with the wedding decor and they used to have six in a pack, I believe. I've made DIYs with these in the past. I've done uh, K-cup holders and little succulent holders and I can link that video down below in the description if you'd like to see what I've done with these in the past. But this time I wanna give them a beachy makeover. So I grabbed two packs of these and I'm excited to get to craft with these as well. I also grabbed six of this decorative nautical rope because when do I not? <laughs> and I use these for a lot of my projects and I thought six would be probably the amount that I will be needing. So I grabbed six more of these as well. And then I grabbed just one pack of the cotton nautical rope and this will go in a separate project from the other rope I just shared with you, but also another very beachy item and I will be using this for my projects as well. And then I grabbed three of these glass candle holders. You can see how cute these are with the little uh, twine hanger there and then it has the uh, silver around the top and these would be so cute to hang up. Um, I'm not gonna hang them up, but I do wanna still keep the hanger on there just because it adds that really cute beach touch to it. Um, but I have a really cute idea in mind for these, so I will be showing you that coming up at the end of the week. And then to go with the candle holders, I picked up one more pack of the votive candles in the fresh linen scent. And these are white and they smell absolutely divine. I love these so much. So these are what I will be using in those candle holders, but kind of with a little twist. You guys will see what I'm talking about <laughs> in that DIY video coming up. And then I also picked up four packs of this jute twine. Now these you get three in a pack, which is a really nice deal. These used to come with a green one as well. I never really liked the green, I never used it, so I'm so glad that they carry these now with the, the tan jute twine in the three pack because that is what I would always use the most of. And I do believe I will need a lot for what I have in mind. So I grabbed four of these and um, if not, I will always use these because it's just almost a staple with uh, crafts that I do. So um, if I don't use them all, it's nice to have on hand, but I did pick up four packs of these as well. And then just in case I need a little bit more structure to my jute, I picked up uh, two packs of this wire jute cord and um, I won't exactly know for sure if I need this um, until I kind of start working on my project, but I have a feeling I will. So I grabbed two of these and even if I don't use them, these are a great item for fall DIYs as well. So I picked up two of these also. And then I grabbed this 24 pack of these party spoons. These are in with the party decorations and these are just so cute, these little mini spoons. You get 24 to a pack and I think these will be perfect for what I have in mind. So you guys will see what I do with these coming up. I also picked up this pack of white seashells. These are all the same shells and I like that they were all white and all similar. And especially since I'm going with um, the neutrals, um, I thought that just the plain white ones would be really perfect for what I have in mind. So I picked up a bag of these as well. I also grabbed another pack of just the tan sand and they do have this in white. The white could also be really pretty. I just prefer the tan. So I picked up one more of these for the projects this week, but um, I think they do have other colors like blues and reds and stuff, but you know, I'm doing the neutrals. So I went ahead with my favorite and just got the tan one, but you will see what I do with this coming up. 
I also picked up one more bag of the tan sand and they do have this in white. The white could actually be really pretty for what I have in mind also, but I'm just more partial to the tan. So I needed another bag of this. So I grabbed one more of these as well. I also grabbed two bags of these pearls. These are the larger size and you get 40 to a pack in these. And then these are the smaller size. You get 80 to a pack in these. And they do have a medium size where I believe you get 60 to a pack but I wanted there to be a more of a, a noticeable difference between the two sizes so that's why I got the large and the small um, but they do have the medium as well but um, these are the sizes I picked out and you guys will see what I do with these coming up and then these last four items are not brand new I did have them on hand but I will be using them for my projects so I wanted to share them with you as well so I'll also be using this wooden rolling pin this was originally from Dollar Tree but I did have this in my craft stash and I thought this project that I have in mind um, this would work really well so I will be using one of these and then my husband was kind enough to let me raid his tackle box for some fishing line I've never done any projects with fishing line before but I know that it is a really nice um, heavy duty quality especially if you want to hang something up without really seeing what it's hanging from which is what I want to do so I will be using some of this in my projects as well I'll also be using this gold metallic sharpie for one of my projects and um, this is such a pretty gold it's not like a really bright gold it's a very muted gold but um, I definitely needed this for some of my projects and I will be using this as well and then I grabbed some sticks. So these are actually from my backyard and I want to use these just kind of as branches and you really can't go wrong with free. So uh, I will be using these for my projects as well. So that is everything I have to share with you in today's Tuesday Dollar Tree Haul. And like I said, all of these items will be used in my DIY projects coming up at the end of the week. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see how I will be using all of these items in my projects. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.